Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Monday Morning Coffee with Josh, number 42, I believe. So maybe 41. I don't even know anymore. It's been too many. But let's stop the chit chat and get right into what's important to all of us, and that's the coffee. So this week, I have a New England coffee. It was founded in 1916, as you can see. It tells us. It has a quaint little village New England scape. It's before electricity. So there's a horse, but it's their cap chocolate cappuccino blend. It's a medium roast, rich chocolate flavor. If you like chocolate coffee, I'm assuming this might pique your interest. Give her a try. That's a pretty good cup. Now, personally, I'm not a huge fan of chocolate coffee. You may be wondering, Josh, why would you get coffee that you're not a huge fan of to begin with? Well, I don't really know, but it was the only thing there I haven't tried yet in the stores. I'm getting to the point where I've tried a lot of stuff, so I gave it a try. This coffee, it's definitely smooth. Uh, it has a rich smell to it. Um, subtle notes of uh, chocolate, not overwhelming. If I take my bias that I'm not really liking the chocolate flavor to begin with, um, I I'm gonna go, this is actually a pretty good chocolate coffee. It doesn't make me go, this is gross. So I'm actually gonna go like a seven on this one. If you enjoy the flavorings of chocolate in your coffee, I would definitely give that one a try. There you have it. So moving on, today I wanted to talk about a book I've been reading and I've promoted it and I've wrote about it in Reading Nook of the Week where I promote things I've read that I find that you might like as well. But the book is The Subtle or Subtle Art of Not Giving an F. And it is a self-help book, which I've said in the past, I'm getting away from and I am trying to, due to the fact that a lot of people just read stuff that makes themselves feel good, but they actually don't do anything with it. They don't actually improve themselves. So it can be a real time suck. So the way this book, you stupid cat, get off the table. Move. Out of here. That was a little misconceiving because it is a—it's essentially just choosing what to put your time and emotions caring about. But one of the big notes that I got from it is the idea of life is made up of a bunch of problems. If your goal in life is to live a problem-free life, well, you're going to be disappointed because it's not realistic. Every, everything you do, there's going to be a, a new problem associated with it. And as they kind of put it, hopefully you're just given over time better and better problems. And that was kind of a nice perspective. So it wasn't, it kind of made the example of in life, instead of choosing what you want, why don't think of what problems would you like to deal with? And that was also an interesting perspective. And to kind of give some examples and context behind that, it's the example of like, I know for me, like one of my goals someday is to buy a house, but what problems come along with buying a house? Yeah, it solves a problem of maybe needing more space, um, but then you incorporate the problems of, okay, I have to pay a mortgage. Now anything that happens, I'm responsible for that. So those are those problems. There's um, really to the fitness industry or just health in general. So I wanna lose some weight. I wanna have a healthier lifestyle. Well, whether that's you signing up for a gym membership, which is solving a problem, or you getting outside and exercising more, which is solving that problem, you incorporate more problems. Now those problems are, I have to now find time to exercise. Now that I'm getting sweaty, I probably have to shower before work. So how do I fit this into my life? And now you're deciding between, is this more important than me spending time with my family? Or is this more important? So you have all these, these problems, not necessarily bad ones, but you gotta find what your values point you towards as more important. And I thought that was very uh, helpful, and enlightening for just a way to look at it and hopefully, hopefully that helps you as well. Kind of looking at things, not problems as negative, but you they're just part of life, and over time, you're hopefully picking better and better problems to cause you enjoyment. If you have any questions or comments, I would love to hear, or any feedback, please check out my website at williamstrainingsystems.com, or you can always shoot me an email at josh at williamstrainingsystems.com. Hope you guys had a, have a great week, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.